Who dares rouse me from my slumber? Greetings, Paul Bello here with a soft launch announcement. Um, I'm letting a couple people in to help me test it out, see uh, if there's any bugs left, and uh, give me some feedback on things uh, you'd like the tool to be able to do. Uh, exporting, uh, battle map selection, uh, different themes for the maps besides 80s graph paper. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be a longer video, but I'm going to go through a dungeon in the library and then uh, we'll maybe uh, create one from scratch and see how that goes. So, what do we have? We have Crypt, a medium dungeon, medium dungeon. Oh, I did add a large back, uh, 13 to 21 areas. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a l large one there, actually. Um, some of these I've gone through and uh, added room descriptions and whatnot. Um, I've added some more tiles too to give it a little more uh, variety. Uh, wooden crosses hang from the ceiling in this room and the walls are covered in graveyards, stone slabs, and tombstones. You see a single torch and several, several uh, skeletons in the room. Yes, there's monsters in the area. Monstrous Humanoid, Cypher, uh, we got Hit Dice, Damage, Stats, Challenge Rating Easy, uh, what kind of combat it does, etc, etc. Um, if we don't like that, we can quickly add more sets of D6 random encounters. Find a group of merchants, they are lost and asking you for directions. Um, Brooks attack, praying at an altar, cooking dinner, etc. etc. Uh, we also have magic items, scorching thunder gauntlets. <laughs> Skull Ring, Wand of Wonder. Uh, roll a d10. On a 1, the wand shoots a fireball. On a 2, shoots an ice ball. On a 3, 4, 5, or 6, it laughs. Uh, it must make a save or wisdom or lose one round of action. On a 7, 8, or 9, a random small woodland creature is summoned. And on a 10, Rod appears and demands you give his wand back. He's a high-level sorcerer, artificer, and he doesn't mess around. What I would probably do with that is have it be a Wand of Wonder with the word Rod etched into it. <laughs> and uh, wait for the players to make a joke that, hey, it's a Wand, not a Rod. And then uh, have Rod appear later in the campaign and, hey, my name is written on it, man. <laughs> See, that's just a crazy little story with uh, just one little random generation there. Uh, we also have mundane items. Uh, book in a Forgotten Language, Ancient Sword, oh, Magic Ring. Yeah, still having a problem with magic items popping up. Um, eventually when we fine-tune that'll be better but it is what it is for now uh, we got NPCs uh, bird folk minotaur insectling leprechaun <laughs> high elf goblin so on and so forth uh, if you notice, this is a extreme difficulty dungeon, so all the magic items are going to be powerful, the NPCs and monsters are going to be tough. Um, 
can get a big graphic map, and you also have uh, the main NPCs. Uh, some of the rooms have a, a main NPC attached. So, uh, but that's basically it. Um, if you aren't the uh, person who created the dungeon, you'll just be able to view it and uh, export it eventually. But if you want to make your own, all you have to do is go over here. Uh, we'll do rooms and caves, the only style that we have. Uh, random difficulty, and we'll go with the Rose Estes and random, and see what we get. I need a new office chair. You can hear it creaking in the background, I think. <laughs> uh, the venturers come across the cave in the desert, a uh, secret doorway leading to a lost city lost beneath the sands. The city of Pyxis and Sabor has been buried under the sands for thousands of years. Abominations. Wow, 20 areas. Look at the map. One, two, three, four, da, 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 20 areas. And then uh, what you do is basically just go room by room, uh, add the description, see what you like. Eventually, what I might be able to do too is have it so you can just click on this box and edit it as needed uh, before you export. That way the library gets high quality content, even if it's half AI and half human written or human edited. Um, it's going to be better for everyone, I think, in the long run. Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> uh, monsters and so on. Uh, let's do another room that isn't the entrance. You see these come pretty quick. Kind of boring guard post. Tells more about the overall dungeon while also talking a little bit about the room, so it's kind of cool. Uh, do another. As you can see, I mean, it might take you a minute, so. You could do a 20 room dungeon in an hour or so. Um, and we are going to work on getting these uh, the initial a little better. Uh, sometimes you have to hit the button 2 or 20 times. Um, but eventually it usually comes up with something pretty decent. Uh, well worn table sits in the center of the room along with several chairs and what appear to be several books. So what you might do is then go down to mundane items and it would be nice if we had a, a drop down where you could go mundane item books and grab, you know, just books or something like that. I bet if you uh, went through enough of them, there we go, Book on the Undead, written by a bard named Niall. That'd be funny if it wasn't one of the NPCs on there, but it's not. Uh, no, no, no NPC in this area. Uh, money walls with formations of stalactites and stalagmites. Stalagmites? Stalactites? Oh, I need some sleep. <laughs> Uh, several watery pools varying size, the floor is uneven and covered with small rocks. Impressive darkness, very unstable. Air is cool, dank, and dead. Uh, ooh, roll for one NPC, so you come down here, and then grab a random NPC. King's Guard, what's he doing here? He's missing equipment.
<laughs> her equipment is two pieces of rope. What's that about? Uh, we'll go to room five. So I think as we get some more dungeon masters using this, in addition to me, uh, we'll get some ideas and brainstorming going on uh, ways to make it even better. But, I mean, it's not the greatest D&D map, but, you know, it kind of has like a boss room here, maybe a couple different directions you can go to give it some variety. It kind of looks like it belongs and then this cave section here. But, uh, what else do we have? Traps. Uh, oh, we're missing traps on that. But we have create trap and it's on the library, so uh, another thing to mark and uh, go back and fix. Statue trap. Uh, statue of a demon sits on a pedestal. When stepped on, the statue begins to breathe fire in a 15 foot radius. 10d10 damage, oh my. Oh my. Well, it is a extreme dungeon, so. Tomb of Horrors <laughs> 2.0, created by the AI. I should put that for uh, extreme level dungeons, like, describe a dungeon that is like Tomb of Horrors, but better, or worse. <laughs> I love how Tomb of Horrors is, at the same time, the best D&D uh, module and one of the worst D&D modules at the same time. That's pretty cool. Uh, because the thing about that dungeon is, not to sidetrack too much, but it was you know, more created for a convention and to punish players, but it's kind of evolved and changed over the years a little bit but uh, here we have an underground tunnel uh, go all the way to the end so what are we at about 12 minutes uh, wide circuit kind of circular <laughs> uh, the rocks you can see have crude writing Great Hall of Sabor. And if we go up here, Sabor. So there is some little bit of continuity. Um, could it be better? Yes. Will it be better? Yes. But uh, we have the uh, beginning of a little bit of continuity, which is kind of cool. Doppelganger trap. Uh, trap is placed on a magic mirror. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, that sounds kind of extreme, too. My, oh my. Uh, small statues, socks, cough syrup, whiskey. <laughs> Good magic items. Plus one sword, staff, horn, uh, another staff. Whoa, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> Legendary wondrous item worth 379,495 gold pieces. Uh, able to absorb any spell cast within range into the crystal. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Multiple spells can be stored in the crystal simultaneously. One level seven, two level... Man, goes all the way down to one. Ooh, if it has absorbed a spell. So basically, if you can pronounce it, you can use it, the DM says. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could... Uh, spend hours here literally um, we've only got 13 dungeons but um, 
Um, I wiped everything clean and I've been rebuilding them uh, the last couple days. Uh, it's real quick, small dungeon, five rooms, so on and so forth. Um, so if you're interested in either solo RPG or a tool to help you as a DM, stop by Lit RP Adventures and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you. Approach me if you dare. Thank you.